Are you looking for somewhere interesting to take the family when they're in town next week for Thanksgiving? Or do yeah. you just appreciate art and going to see different things and local artists? Well, you might be able to pick up a, 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 a holiday gift there, too, right? Mm -hmm. No Name Gallery, Chestnut Hill. Hi, Steve. Well, look at the name of the owner of the No Name Gallery. It's Janine. And I asked Janine, where does that come from? And she's named after her dad, John. And then I, I delve into people's lives, and then you get a sad story, but it's an inspiring story. What happened to your father? Uh, my father was murdered when my mother was three months pregnant with me by a uh, Eagles football player, Nate Ramsey. Um, it was 1975. It was two black men, so we said it was self-defense. And... That was that. Gosh, I never thought I'd be telling that story that, so early in the morning you're so like this. Out of your name now, and the name you yes. had as a kid because everybody mispronounced it, and now it's really yeah. Now cool. that I'm older, I'm very much like it's Johnny yeah. named after my dad. It's a cool name, and then when you learn about your father, who wasn't even around when you were born, it's even more special. Thanks. All right. Well, <laughs> this is a cool place that we're going to try to walk through. So I mentioned like. You know, art's in the eye of the beholder. You never know how much. It's a value. Its value is whatever you pay for it. So a guy you see at right now Square that has everything with mirrors, there's Greg looking at himself in that piece of work. All these artworks have the price on it. Usually it's on the back and they hide it from you. Yeah. But it looks very affordable. And you know what? If you give some of these as gifts, people will think you spent thousands maybe. And this is kind of a good deal. But everything in here is really cool. And you're an artist yourself. Yes, and a I'm photographer. a photographer. So, but, but a lot of Batman-related stuff, it's an Eartha Kit whose song we hear every Christmas, right? Is that Eartha Kitt? I think so. Yeah, yeah that's Eartha Kitt, Batgirl, or Bat Catwoman. Catwoman. And she has Santa Baby that we hear every right, time. Right, right, right. Yeah, so yeah, there yeah. you go. So there's a Christmas-related gift. So each room here has different art, and it's kind of a cool room. It's like you're in somebody's house now to sit. It's like semi-museum, semi-gallery, semi-store. Yeah, I wanted to create a place where people could not only come and enjoy looking at art but they could come be a part of the environment to sit to hang out listen to music smell the good candles you know it's an experience and this blows away your previous place because that was just four walls and you've you've made this into something by creating all these different rooms yeah i love the uh freedom i have to express myself in different rooms with different art and it's just not art on campus but it's everything from coffee cups or mugs or cards it's everything. Yeah, I wanna, I'm going to get home furnishings in here, too. I'm going to have people, because I think people who redo furniture are very artistic. You know what I mean? Yes, they are. And uh, this is a front, another front room, and there's some of your photography, yes. and it's wonderful. Thank and you. And I, I knew that was the Trocadero when I saw yeah, that picture. Yeah, right? And uh, they're going to redo that. There's the penitentiary. That's a pretty cool picture. I just and went there last week. I teach photography, and I took my students there. I take the regional rail every Sunday back in the town, and I see that, and you've made it look cool. <laughs> um, all the graffiti along the regional rail lines going into the city. Thank you. I, that's wonderful. You Thank found you. an old Cadillac. How about that? A, cell, a pay phone we never see anymore? South Street. That's cool. That was on South Street back in the day. So all these pictures are, are really cool, and they turn into artwork. So very good. So, Mike, I just wanted to know if you ever were in that situation where you had a woman in your life where you, 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 you're like, what am I going to get her? She has sure. everything. Mm -hmm. um, one year, Mike, I'm, I don't like talking about me on the air, but one year I was in a panic so bad, I made a gift which turned out to be not so good. I got engaged and bought a wedding ring, an <laughs> engagement ring from Tiffany because I'm like, what am I going to do? And I, like, I, I panicked, and that's what I did. And I don't <laughs> think you've ever made that big of a mistake. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, I, I panicked. I know the feeling you, that you had. A panic ring? Yeah. That's a thing? Like, what could I get her that she'll really, really uh, want? Oh, an engagement ring. 